Hi everyone, it's me. <laughs> this is the second time that I record in the car with Ro Rocket right next to me, and he's scared when I say hi everyone. It's, it surprises him. He did it when we were on our way to Bass Pro Shop too. So we're gonna start again. You okay, Rocket? <laughs> he's not used to me just all of a sudden talking in the car. I'm waiting for bumps. Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am in my car. Joe is driving and Rocket is between us. Hi puppy. Hi sweetie. He does talk. He does talk. Rocket barks, but Joe does talk. Um, anyway, you guys were so excited about our silly little trip to Bass Pro Shop. I didn't think anybody would like that video and so many of you commented and said that you want more stuff like that. But that's not the reason we're on the road. We just decided to go out today and I thought, okay, I'm going to record because it'll give you guys something else to see and I'm going, we're going to a big outdoor flea market that I have never been to and I'm excited and there'll be a lot of stuff to show you, I'm assuming. So here's the deal. It's in Ripley, Mississippi. It's about, we're thinking, what, an hour and 30 minutes from hour us? Hour and 15. Hour and 15 minutes from us. And we're probably, I don't know how much further we are, but... 35 minutes. I got 35 minutes to go, and I thought I would do a little intro to let you know that you're going to be seeing us at a flea market. And I don't know really what to expect. Uh, Joe says it's huge. <laughs> 25 or 30 acres. 25 or 30 acres. I don't know that I have to always repeat because when I did the editing, I think you can hear when Joe talks. So I'm not going to repeat what he says every time. I'm going to talk to you guys today about the flea market, but I also want to stick something in there about how I get dysregulated and can ruin an entire day. And I know there are others out there like that. And, you know, Joe knows this about me. He's right here. He hears me talking about it. And he said he's fine with that. Because I know I can help others. He's shaking his head. Yes. The fact that I thought of talking to you guys about this um, is what got me through to allowing me to go out today. Because I can turn from being so happy and excited about something to uh, a deep dark hole where I don't want to do it, I don't want to do anything, and I get physically ill over it. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, but yeah, you can see I'm in a better mood and we're on our way and I'm so glad and uh, Joe is just a sweetheart when I get like that. He does understand me, but you know, it's not always easy because if he would happen to be in a bad mood for whatever reason or his sugar is off that's when you know one of us has to be in a good place like if his sugar is off and I'm in a good place I can help him if we're both in a bad place at the same time that can that can um just you know just not be pleasant we just stopped to get gas and look at what rocket has to look at look at them baby Come on, Rocket. Oh, he wants to go out so bad. What's that, Rocket? Where are you, Rocket? Right there. How come I can't see you? Because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh oh, he's gonna howl. Okay, let's get. Because he's talking to his friends. Are you, are you happy to see your little friends? <laughs> Look at the little one. Wait, how come I can't zoom? Look at the little guy and the bigger guy. And he wants his daddy right now because he thinks his daddy will take him out and see those dogs. Hello. Hello. 
<laughs> Joe is just so into dogs. Honey, you should have heard Rocket. He wanted to start I howling. I heard Rocket. Will they bite? No, sir. <laughs> Little chihuahua, so beautiful. Yeah, she's, she's a good girl. She's getting a little old. She just turned 13. Really? He just turned a year and a half. Oh, my gosh. Poor Rocket. He's like my daddy's there with those dogs. That's my buddy, that. This little one? No, oh, that's my little bad boy. She sleeps with me all the time. Yeah. But he, yeah, he's a little... He's your buddy, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's my buddy in front seat. Oh, yeah. First, I want to explain that this video is going to be very choppy because I don't always know when I'm going to have to just stop or start. Like that man at the gas station came to the window to pet Rocket and, you know, I'm not going to have him be forced to be on camera. So, um, yeah, and but there are some things that I'm going to want you to see that I might have to cut off abruptly. Anyway, just explaining that. These kind of videos are like that. I wanted to also explain that um, we're on a, I didn't want to explain that, but we're on a smooth, like, curvy road, and I'm interested in looking around, but I also wanted to record a little bit before we actually get there. And I wanted to explain to you guys that when Joe and I met, he knew I liked to go out. And he had asked way back then, could we maybe have like one weekend a month where we don't go out? And I never really honored that. <laughs> I agreed to it. But at the beginning, it was all fun and exciting. And we were just going out all the time. But we started doing that. And we kind of accidentally did it this weekend. I did have reservations for Hadley's. But none of my friends who I dance with were going to be there. And then I had another option. But I just decided, no, I'm not really into it. Um, uh, the friends that the couple that we are usually with John and Cherie I think they gave me permission to say their names I'm not sure um, John doesn't dance Joe doesn't dance and they hang out together uh, two long haired hippies you know that kind of thing <laughs> and so uh, with beards and Cherie and I dance but they're on the road right now so they couldn't go out and I thought I'm just gonna stay home so Friday night we went to Bass Pro Shop and that was really cool last night Saturday night was the night I could have gone out and Joe said we can go out and I said no let's make this one of our weekends where we don't go out so that felt good and then he mentioned coming here today and I was like all on board and I was so excited about going out. It's not like, you know, 110 degrees like in the middle of the summer. Um, because right now it's, it's still March. But, it, you know, it's still kind of hot. It's, it's 73. Hot for me. Joseph, 73. I, you probably heard that, right? 73, and I do feel some humidity. So that's going to suck a little bit. But we're going to go. And I like rides like this so I told them we can go every month okay so this is a flea market that's called first Monday yeah and it's Ripley Mississippi right Ripley Mississippi and it is the very first Monday of each month very first weekend with the Monday falls in the next month Tell me right, it's the weekend before the first Monday of every month. So this is like the one for April. Because tomorrow is the first Monday of April, so it's this weekend that the flea market is on. And I haven't really like looked at pictures or anything like that. We're just going to obviously see it together. I'm going to have my camera and show you guys. And then, as for talking about how I can um, spoil everyone's day, including my own, uh, and I mentioned dysregulation. You can look up dysregulated nervous system and see if um, you can relate to that. I'm not going to get into it too much. I'll let you read this a lot to read about it. But what it mainly is, I'm just going to explain it like this. It can be like... A trigger that just sets me off and I and it can be it to me and that's how it it's explained in some places but to me it's because 
I am a highly sensitive person, meaning not just like, oh, boo-hoo, sensitive in that way, but that, um, you know, the sound of ice melting in my glass and making a little sound can set me off into almost like a near rage for no reason. And you know that I always say how I like to be scheduled and I don't like to stray from my schedule. And I didn't know that that's like a thing. And that is, again, even though I was excited about doing this, I wanted to get my free ebook list that I do every day while I have my coffee. And I was able to do that, but then I started feeling rushed. And it, that started setting me off because I need to get my stuff done. It's in, and I understand that people would like to say, well, just change that. Just don't, you know, stop. Don't feel that way. It's like next to impossible. And for me personally, I feel like I can be better at um, doing something different out of the norm and enjoying it if I do allow myself some form of keeping a few of the things normal. So, and I can explain that later. And not just on this ride. Um, so it was important for me to be able to finish something this morning so I could go off for the day knowing I at least did something normal. But then if that starts to get to the point where I feel like I wasn't able to do it with a clear head, and I, I, it starts to build. It starts to build up and then I can lose my fucking mind. I mean, just lose my mind. Uh, not always in anger, but more like um, like this morning. It was a matter of crying and saying I can't go. Uh, you know, and Joe was so good about it. And uh, acting like a two-year-old. I was acting like a two-year-old. In case you didn't hear that, I want to make sure you heard that. <laughs> and it is. And I would like to talk about that more. But again, I'm not going to make this whole day about that. But um, you know, Joe was was really sweet about it. Now, if he's in a in a mood and would have said something like, oh, good God, not again, what, you know, that's it, that's it, I wasn't going. I wouldn't have been going, I, I just would not. I would not have been able to, because I can't in that moment imagine having any kind of a good day. It would just be me miserable, out, being miserable, and, and so, but thankfully, we didn't go through that today because I want very much to do these kind of things. It's, wow. it's what I like. I love it. Right now, I'm, I'm just really, really happy that we were able to get through that part uh, and, um, and that Joe is very understanding. We do talk about it a lot. When I'm in a good mood, I want him to understand what it is that I go through. <sighs> and I go through some things with him with his diabetes. But once I know it's the diabetes, I, I, you know, nothing like, like he, he doesn't fucking flip out like me. In fact, um, he never, he never raises his voice. He, he's so level headed and, and doesn't ever call me anything. Like, remember you said, you notice I never call you anything bad. You know what I mean? Like not even in joking and I'm okay with being like, you're a fucking bitch. I mean, I, that stuff like that. But see, he won't even joke like that. I like to joke in that way. But because he doesn't do it, I, I don't. I try not to do it to you too much. <laughs> but to me, it's all fun. That part's funny. But um, yeah. So, uh, but you know, his, his diabetes can uh, be stressful to say the least. You know, one time I couldn't wake him at all he would not respond I knew he was breathing but you know I had to call an ambulance and they gave him a d50 injection and you know that snapped him right out of it so you know there's things there's things um, all right so I'm gonna put my my arm down now because it hurts holding this camera and we'll probably just talk again at the flea market make a sharp right turn on Mississippi 15 then turn right She's telling us to turn here. We're already here. She was a little late. Joe said we can rent a little golf cart thingy. Yeah, right here. And um, now that I see how big this place is, but I'm going to try to not do that. Mm -hmm. I actually want to walk. We want to walk. And it's not really hot. If we come in the summer and it's really hot, then I wouldn't want to be walking. You can yeah, rent dude. little golf carts like yeah. that. And Joe wanted to do that, but we're going to try walking it today. 
This is a big place, and I have a very hard time right now seeing what's in the screen. But I got this little guy. Give me how you like the cow. No, I, I can do it. Just walk down this way. Oh my goodness, so much to look at. Yeah. I told him he was retired, now he don't get out of bed till 7.30, 8 o'clock. Men and, and their dogs. We're out here <laughs> putting drops on every uh, garbage can, so I'm stopping him. I got time to pick you up. And of course, he went into the chill mode and he'll go to sleep. There's now. another he's one. Up, there's another one. Look at him. They're so cute. That is adorable. <laughs> Old tools. Oh, look at the irons. I'm glad I'm not using those kind. Oh, I used to have scrub boards in our garage. I have no clue what I'm recording because I can't see. Okay, you look there and I'm just going to walk up here a little bit. I'm actually um, interested in once in my life having a booth and coming here with fabric. Um, the woman told me there's an office up ahead somewhere that I can put my name in and they let you know when they have a space available. Now I, I'm not equipped to have a sale, you know, this size, but it's something I'd like to look into. I can get wholesale um, India tapestries that I used to use to make my plus size clothing that I did for 11 years and I know the woman would still remember me because I used to order from her all the time it's in California I could flip some of those and I also have a wholesaler for boutique sarongs and I still have a lot of that at my apartment uh, that I took with me and I need to to get rid of those. I shouldn't get too far from Joe. He's looking at, I don't know, um, I, I, I want to say tools, but it wasn't tools. It was like lawnmowers and things like that. I don't know why he wants to look at that. <laughs> Unless he wants to start a lawn mowing, a lawn mowing business now. I'm going to go back in that direction. Oh yeah, I see him. He's working his way up. I'm absolutely loving that I'm here and it's not as hot as I expected it to be. The hardest thing about this is that Joe wants to buy me everything and he knows that I'm not wanting stuff because <laughs> I'm trying to still get rid of stuff. He's like pointing out these baby blankets, it's fabric. He knows I like fabric. <laughs> it's like I'm like, no, I don't, I don't need any of that. Thank you. So I feel bad because he's always wanting to buy me stuff. I don't even want him to buy himself stuff. Okay, now he's showing me this. Look, <laughs> wait a second. Yes, dear. I don't need that, honey. Oh, oh, that looks good on you. That, that, that's right. <laughs> this is so fun. But he doesn't. Yes. Okay. At least purple's a good color. What the hell do we do with a bowl this big? My card is running out. I deleted some things, but I don't want to delete something that I don't want to, you know, delete. I don't want to accidentally delete something, so I'm pissed that I don't have more memory cards. Um, the man at the place with the big bowls did not want me recording. Anyway, so I stopped recording there. He wasn't happy at all. He goes, what are you all recording? Oh, I'm recording Joe holding a purse. <laughs> So excited. We stopped at a place where all the jewelry was a dollar each and I got a mood ring. Joe bought me a mood ring and it's just a band. Can I see? And it's purple right now and it fits three of my fat fingers. Thumb, ring finger on my left hand and I think on my right. <laughs> I'm so tickled. I got something from Joe. Something that I was willing to let him buy me. I haven't had a mood ring since high school. We stop and he talks to people at every booth. <laughs> I said, we need to speed this up a little bit because we have a long way to go. But I'm having fun. Now he saw more dogs. 
They're so cute. We are not going home with another dog. <laughs> Look at the cuteness. Someone that took the gray one. You know we're not going home with a dog, right? I know. <laughs> oh, sweet. We've only been like up one little strip, and there's strip after strip after strip. And he's wanting a go a go kart. I, I wish it was go kart, a golf cart. But I'm gonna try to hold firm on not doing that. I really want to just walk. Look at all the knives. Joe just yeah, said he, he'd love to have another knife. I don't know. I don't know what men find so exciting about having knives. How much are you knives? All right. The thing about spending money. I am all for spending money if you absolutely need something and it's a good deal. But Joe will buy anything and everything and never use it. His van is just filled with stuff. And he'll buy the same thing again another time. Oh, I need more of those. I'm like, but you didn't use any of those. That's all right. One of these days. So it's that kind of thing. And I'm trying so hard to explain to him how that makes me very, very nervous and dysregulated. So um, he wants to, you know, not do that as much because he understands that he understands that, you know, it's a lot of expense. And you know, some people are just like that. They just shop. They're shopaholics. My dad was like that. <laughs> it's um, it's not packed. Like, see, Joe said usually all this is filled like on Saturdays, but this is a Sunday, and not only Sunday, it's Easter Sunday. So there's a lot of people probably not here. I'm trying to find a bathroom now. There's a pork skin guy who cooks pork, who cooks pork skins, um, but he's not here. Joe wanted to get me some pork skins because he knows I can eat that. We split up because I had to go to the bathroom. So he has Rocket and I'm supposed to be able to try to find him. I don't see him. I guess I could call. I bet he went down the road I went to look for me. Oh, he's calling. Let's go look at the plants. Oh yeah, I, I need some rollerblades. That's what I was hoping to find here. Oh, I don't want plants like that. I was hoping for little house plants. Hi, puppy. Okay, we're at the wildlife section, I guess. <laughs> Bunnies, chickens. Look at that. Wow. You got a lot to say. Who did that? Huh? Who did that? Oh my, there's more stuff across this road. What is that? Cage filled with these gray things. I can't tell yet. Okay. Is that a quail? I'm guessing. I'm guessing because I don't know at all. Oh my god, that... that that poor dog. Oh, I'm sad. See, I don't do well seeing caged animals. Oh. I left Joe at the food section. I have no clue. He wanted to buy a big thing of tomatoes, like six or seven tomatoes. I've never seen him eat a tomato. Oh, you can give some to Derek. Derek doesn't eat tomatoes, so I don't know if he's getting them or not. We're at the furniture section. 
don't need any of that either. I like to walk around and look, but I'm not a shopper at these places. Dollar oh box. We're leaving. Let's see, how much time do I have? Eight minutes, which means like three in reality. Uh, this is yellow squash. I told you, Joe was by the food. And I don't know, there's probably seven or eight of them in here. You said you paid five bucks for this yeah. bag, yeah. which is a good price. But I said, why so many? And he said, I'll eat all of these tonight. And you bought <laughs> no, I don't know. It's, um, you know, I don't think he's eating all of these. But here's, <laughs> here's the other thing. And you say that often. You'll be like, oh, I'll have that all eaten in three days. And I'm like, no, it's that, there's no way. It. But all in one night, one night, one night. Ow, I just punched myself in the eye. Not good. Uh, <laughs> but not only that, because he will not eat yellow squash unless he has zucchini with it. Some call it summer squash. The green ones that look like these yellow ones. So he said, I'll eat this all tonight, but we have to um, go to Walmart first so he can have zucchini to go with this. Is it a man thing? Is it a man thing? Women, tell me. Is it, is it a man thing? <laughs> is it a woman thing to be bossy? Is it a woman's thing to be bossy? I don't consider it bossy. It just, it blows it my mind. <laughs> Turn left on South Main Street. Okay, we have, we have the, um, the Google woman talking to us. So anyway, it was nice. And, you know, it was a cloudy day, which was perfect. The humidity was not as bad as I thought. It was kind of cool. I liked it, but Joe said, next time we're going. We're going on a Saturday. We're spending the day. We're renting a golf wow. cart. Yeah. And um, I'll let him buy me another ring for a buck. Okay, that's, that's as much as I want him to spend on me. And then he also bought some boxes of crackers and stuff. So I think we did pretty good, uh, <laughs> except for all the yellow squash. <laughs> and the zucchini that we're going to get. Okay, I, I have to put his squash up. Turn um, left on South up. Main Street. We don't say up. Here they'll say, um, <laughs> put the groceries up. When you come in with the bags, put the groceries up. Um, I say put the groceries away. I don't know, it's a main thing. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Oh, pork skins. What about pork skins? Just have them like I don't need them. Fresh cooked ones, I want them. Oh, good God. Fresh cooked pork skins. Where in here? Right here. Across there? That little van. Somebody's selling pork skins out of a van. Somehow I, I can't see between you. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I want to buy something out of a van, honey. Or eat something. Oh, I do. Oh, he's got a little thing like that. I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, I'll let you guys know. I was explaining to you in the car about the pork skins, but my memory card ran out, so I'm just going to wrap it up here. He did end up coming into the car with two bags of pork skins. I'm just not used to buying pork skins out of someone's car <laughs> at a gas station or a convenience store, whatever that was. And he has the thing to deep fry the, the pork skins right there. Um, they're good. They were good, you know. Uh, it's just, uh, it's all so different for me. So, um, enjoyed my day. It can be very stressful for me to be anywhere um, where there's shopping involved when I'm with him. Now, I could walk that all day long and just look at things, not talk to the people, just look and move along and get my exercise and just be outside when it's a nice day, but Joe wants to talk to everybody and I love that about him and uh, you know sometimes he'll just get talking and I'll just go ahead and look at some things and you know it's um, you know he and I are just very different he's very talkative and he doesn't get upset and he doesn't stress out over things he just you know like I said he is so much like my father I know I keep saying that um, and uh, but it's because my father was just a very nice man and he made friends with everyone and liked to talk and liked to walk around and he too 
would always want to buy something and my mother would say, no, we don't need that. And I wonder if that's why I say that, because I, you know, I think was taught that you just don't buy stuff that you don't need. I mean, is that a horrible thing to buy something you don't need? I don't know. To me, it's like, it's, it's bad. <laughs> But, you know, we do learn things that we hear, so I'll have to think about that more. Um, but yes, so, you know, we do go out a lot, but I just never take my camera because it takes a while to feel comfortable recording in front of somebody else. And I'm definitely okay with that now. And you can tell, I think Joe's loosening up a little bit uh, on camera, and I'm, I'm just thrilled about that. So we will be, you know, recording more together if that's what you guys would like. And of course, I'm still doing all my other stuff. But anyway, it was a nice day, a nice day, and and um, um, and I got pork skins from a van. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.